just going to start off by moisturising the face with Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Rich Face Base. So I'm applying foundation now and I'm just mixing it in with some of matte stroke cream as well just to give the skin a dewy finish. concealer just to the under eyes, the tip of the nose, the chin and any areas that get red easily like the size of the nose. So now I'm going to use the Soleil Tan de Chanel to just create a light contour to the face. So I'm just applying it to the cheekbones and the forehead and the tip of the nose. <laughs> So here I'm just adding on the liquid version of Becca's Opal just to the high points of the cheekbones and I actually did put it just above the eyebrows and the tip of the nose and the cupids bow as well. setting the under eyes with the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder and I'm also going to apply a little bit of that just on the chin and the forehead as well and just anywhere that you get a little bit oily throughout the day. Now I'm just priming the eyelids with a little bit of the same concealer we used before just to act as a primer. So moving on to brows, I'm just using a little bit of dark brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills just to fill in the brows lightly and just create a little bit of definition. <laughs> Just setting the brows in place with a little bit of clear brow gel. So here I'm just applying Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel Single Eyeshadow just all over the lid and I'm just bringing that up to the crease as well and then just blending that out. Becca's Moonstring here just as a brow bone highlight. So 
so now I'm applying Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Eyeshadow in the colour Fudge just to the mobile lip and then we're going to use a uh, fluffy blending brush just to blend that into the crease into that caramel colour. I'm using the same caramel shade on the lower lash line and just blending that out and then I'm going to be applying Urban Decay's eyeliner and smog to the waterline. <laughs> applying fudge on the lower lash line and I'm applying it closer to the lashes than we did with caramel. So now I'm using Stiller's All Day Liner in black and I'm just lining the top lash line, just a really thin line with no wing. So now I'm just adding a couple coats of Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara just to the top lashes. So I'm just applying some lashes to the outer corners of the eyes just to elongate the eye shape. So now I'm just bronzing the cheeks with some Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 30M and then I'm taking Becca's Highlight in Moonstone just to highlight the cheekbones. We're also highlighting the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow as well. So I'm applying some blush. This one's Charlotte Tilbury's blush in Love Glow. And now I'm just adding some more mascara to the lower lash line. So now I'm just outlining the lips and filling them in with Charlotte Tilbury's iconic nude lip cheat. applying a little bit more of the Moonstone highlight just to the inner corners of the eyes to brighten them up. And for the last step we're just applying MAC lipstick in the colour Yash just to the centre of the lips and then blending that out. So that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Oh, 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 oh,